Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. So I'm your host, Twins Inc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. 2023. We made it, brother. Yes, sir. Happy to be here. Thank you, G. I can't say God because I don't believe in the Christian version of it. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's a new year, new leaf, new things going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, there's plenty of people who didn't make it to 2023. 2023. So first off, salute to my brother, Seth the Dark Child. I'm glad you see, made, it, made it here, my brother. Thank you, twins. I'm so, glad to be here with you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And anyone who's listened to our sound of our voice. We had some audio, video issues today, so that's why you don't have a video on today's show. But we'll get back to that shortly. I'll do my internal troubleshooting because, you know, we build as we what? Fly it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Words to the great almighty, earth in peace, rest in heaven, rest with God, all that good stuff. Kevin Samuel. God give him his flowers. Uh, Father, go miss you every day, brother. The Monday nights, Wednesday and Friday ain't the same no more on YouTube. That, that Thursday and, fr- and the th- Tuesday and Thursday on Instagram. And, and, right, right. <laughs> that used to be my TV show, right? But anywho, the title is Welcome Back, mm-hmm. Season 2. Now, we'll be doing this ball for three years now, ladies and gentlemen. Going in four now, right? We've been talking about some things. And you know what? The first three years was, we won't call that, training, learning, no, yeah, you know what? Different focus, just a different focus. Different focus. We was all over the place. We had a lot of great experience. We 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 mm-hmm. we part- last year was really a good year for for the chat team. Believe it or not, we actually partnered with other podcast shows. They mm-hmm. they actually listened to our show and invite us to be on their show to do a show. Mm-hmm. And, that, and it was ladies who invited us. So you have to understand, you know, even listen to us, you may think we hate women and stuff like that. We really don't. It's all about having an open dialogue conversation, right? And have a better understanding, be better people. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know, once again, that was 2023 and... 2022. Sorry, 2022. Mm-hmm. Now we're in 2023. And we're going to start off differently this year. New wave, new things, and sky's the limit. Yes, sir. I mean, you know, and I, I just want to add a little guideline because we, just so you know, when we say you're trying something different, you know, myself personally, <laughs> you know, last year I did a lot of, pleading with the ladies to listen and 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 try to get some of what I was dishing out. I might not have delivered it in a in a Derry Jackson kind of way, but <laughs> you know, I still I my heart was still in the right place. But um this year, I if you know, put in the comments if you ever hear me say if you ever hear me plead with the ladies for anything. Nah. This year it's about it's about the fellas. I'm I'm thinking we just dishing out positivity if it's Trust me, it's all fella centric. We it's for the this for the guys. We we going back to the barbershop. Ooh, I like that. There you go. Back to the basics. Back to the bzzz, click. No, <laughs> Seth the Seth don't have any hair. I have locks now, so we ain't really going back to the barbershop. But we taking the atmosphere and the conversation back to the barbershop. Yeah, right. We, we had got. I I personally feel. Feel. I know, right? I personally <laughs> feel like I had started doing too much of the beauty salon stuff. No, nah, we're going back to the barbershop. So, so, you know, just want to. I just want to start the year once again. Um, it's still the same kind of subject matter. We're not changing, but what we, how we, the perspective we'll be offering will be different, much more optimistic for the fellas. Um, and uh, this is my one time I said, ladies, if you get anything from it, you're welcome. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So we won't get right into the conversation today. I'm gonna play a video here mm-hmm. that uh that, that 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 popped up through social media and that's that, well actually was on Fox News, so it wasn't just mm-hmm. on social media. This was actually on national broadcast TV, paid for by the big networks. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna play the clip about two minutes clip. And then we're going to do what we normally do. Chop it up. Go and chop it up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Fair use. Fair use. Fair use. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on one second. Hope it ain't too loud. Josh Hawley of Missouri. Oh, wait. Pause. Pause. Turning Point USA event in Phoenix the other day. 
There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. We should have introduced. This is a short clip with Tucker from the Tucker Carlson show, and he's um, having a conversation with Senator Josh Hawley out of Minnesota. All right, go ahead. He said senator, so make sure you pay attention and listen. Mm-hmm. Elected official. All right, all right, we got it. We good? Just want to make sure. Good. Speech. He offered this advice to young men. Watch. Young men, let me make a suggestion to you. Why don't you turn off the computer and log off the porn and go ask a real woman on a date? How about that? Just a thought. Ask her out. Young men, why don't you be the ones who do the asking? Oh, so controversial. She was a human being over pornography. As we said, Josh Hawley represents Missouri in the U.S. Senate, and he joins us tonight to explain his speech. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. So tell us why, I mean, you're a U.S. senator. You you know, you helped negotiate trade deals, but you mentioned human relationships. Why? Well, somebody's got to be honest and tell the truth to these young men. And the truth is, is what the porn industry is selling them is a total lie. And the truth is, American society needs them. We need them to step up. We need them to go get married and have families and be responsible husbands and fathers. This society is impoverished because too many young men are too despairing or too checked out on social media or porn to be doing what we need them to do as a country. It's time to to call people, to call young people in particular and young men to be something more. And Tucker, they want to be called to it. They don't don't want to be sold the bill of goods anymore. Somebody needs to tell them the truth. No, I think that's exactly right. But you... You're one of the very few people who said anything like this, certainly one of the very few elected officials, because it's considered really embarrassing to notice this is happening. Why don't more people say it? It seems like it's transformed our society completely. Yeah, well, I think that's because the liberal culture, what the message to young people is, the most you can aspire to in life is to be a consumer who sits in a cubicle in front of a computer all day and doesn't ask any questions and doesn't do anything meaningful with your life. And what we need to say to young men and young women, too, is just the opposite. Aspire to be something more than a consumer. And for young men, aspire to be something more than a consumer pornography. Aspire to actually create something in your life, like create a family, for instance. That is the, the, the single greatest act of rebellion, if you like, against a liberal culture that is that is suppressing people's desires, that is suppressing their potential, is to go out and actually engage in real relationships, get married, have a family, have kids, have your own ideas, and be be a responsible member of society. I mean, this is what people are built to do. It's, and again, it's what young people want to do. They want to be challenged in this way. Right. No, it's... T- and I'm, I'm sure clips of you saying that will be everywhere later and all the cool kids are making fun of you cool kids who are not yet 60 and childless okay all right i just want to say one thing before before we even chop it up i want you to hear one thing you need to go out and make a family get married do something with your life that was the that was the message the godfather preached for years and you got and certain people took a tt on his grave so moving on, I just want to make sure that we understand that what he just said, Godfather pre- preached that mess. All right, go ahead. Were you about to say something? I don't know where to start. But the, the fact that he said that men need to get up and go out there and do something for themselves. I, I approve of that. Men, get up, go out there and do something for yourself. I approve of that part. I do too. I, but the only, thing I have, the only problem I have with that is this. Mm-hmm. We've been doing this. Oh, Wow. Surprise! Surprise. So we we've been building stuff, roads, buildings, streets, houses, mm-hmm. even while watching porn. <laughs> this car wait, wait, wait. This, this, I ain't building no house while I was watching porn. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing saying, something else. I'm talking about not watching at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about these men that has been building up the whole world, not just America, not just Georgia, the whole world. It's been men who've been building things from day one. Mm-hmm. Porn has been there since day one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when you say men got to do something for themselves, let's talk about what he's really talking about, fellas. Fellas. Yes, for the fellas. This, this ain't about. Yes, fellas. And, and wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure I want to say something. For the fellas. He's not even talking about black fellas. He was talking to the white guys. And I we can get into that in a little bit, but this ain't even about people of my complexion. Keep going. Still, even to add to that, he's still talking to men across mm-hmm, the board. Mm-hmm. I don't care what complexion you are, right? <laughs> men, period, fellas. 
what he's really talking about is that I guess in the end of 2022, you know, of course, I want to say after the passing of Kevin Samuels, the new trend has been transpired since he passed away because as Seth, the Dutch child just said, Kevin Samuel wanted men and women to coexist together. He mm-hmm. wanted more families, more kids, no husbands, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Since he's passing, a new trend popped up, and it's called Passport Bros. Shout out to the Passport Bros. And based on his statement, the senator said, what it's telling me, the men are currently winning right now. I mean, we could pretty much wrap the show up. <laughs> That that's what was. Thank you. Um, no, just just to piggyback a little bit off of what my friend just said. Um, here's the point: when when we tried, and I'm saying we as men, once again, we got all the stats, fellas. We got the stats. Eighty percent divorce filed. Eighty uh, percent of the divorces are filed by women. if they have a college education. This isn't black guys. I want you to understand that when I say these stats, these are white statistics. These are overall statistics. It's even the, most of these numbers are worse in our neighborhoods and our communities, but the overall statistic, 80% of all divorces filed are initiated by women of those 80% filed. The vast majority, you're looking at like 90 plus percent are uh, irreconcilable differences, no fault. I just don't want to be married anymore. Right. And if they have a college degree, the college edu- educated, it's 90%. But what he left off when he was talking about quit playing porn, I mean, quit watching. Um, I don't even want to keep saying the P word. Cause I don't know. Just what it's, called, it's called a P word. Okay. Just quit watching the P word. Quit, quit playing video games. Um, Right. Get, what, get get away from out of your cube and yep. sit behind your computer and desk. Okay, if we get out, what's, what's in it for us to not do that? I mean, ain't you the guys the one to shut it down in the first place? What, what, but what's in it for me? What Have you seen what we have to choose from, fellas? <laughs> I mean, honestly, here we're going to take it back down to it, but it's all about economics and numbers. And, and it's about economics. It's about numbers. It's about birth rates. He purposely chose to talk to men specifically because he can't say anything to women. You, he can't criticize women. So that's why he's talking to us saying, stop watching porn and stop, I mean, and stop playing video games and get out and build something and build a family because we are the ones who build. We are the ones who make there. There's no group of, of, of our female companions that have built a community. Now, find one viable female led community in the country. I don't, I'm not going to say the whole world in this country, right? Where's one men build communities, the churches that everybody go to notice that they start falling apart. When the men stop going to church, your, mm. your neighborhoods start falling apart when the men stop participating and keeping them put together. Mm. And it's not that we stop participating in the vast majority of them. We're not even there. So once again, he's insulting us about what we're doing with our free time. Actually shaming, shaming. Sh- that's, that's, that's even worse than insulting. Mm. Now you're insulting us. I got the Godfather came up with the word S I in, I mean, S I G N shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Mm. Mm. Godfather. God, I wish that man was still here. That give me a moment. Sad. <laughs> we back. But, um, yeah, the, the Godfather said those were shaming. Get off. He, basically he's telling us to get up, go out and build the world as if we hadn't been doing our best. We ain't, we're not the ones who said we don't want to be with women. Women chose not to be with us. Facts. We're not the ones who said, I don't want to be a father. They took our kids. 85% of all the kids get prime mothers, get primary custody. Facts in the, in the, in the course. And once again, it's worse in the black community. We're using FBI 
and census stat statistics right now. We're not talking about what's going on with color guys. It's worse in our neighborhood. So we're not the ones who who get the houses and divorces. We're not the ones who get who is taking child support out of hard working women's pockets. We're not the ones getting paid alimony for because we don't want to be with our wives and girlfriends no more. We're not getting paid that right. We're not, we're not the ones who are getting $1,200 a month in, in food stamps, but you know who taxes do pay for those food stamps and welfare and housing your taxes. And the same guy who told you told men to need to get out there center, same people to pay him, his, mm-hmm. his people. Mm-hmm. So pretty much what he's telling me, he need more men out there to create more families and break up the families. Even though he said men be more combo, be leaders, X, Y, Z, but he knows it's, it's, it's out of our, it's out of our control. Right. As, that- as much as, as much as we want to stay there and be a part of it, is out of control, which eventually it falls apart. And guess what? The system gets created. And guess what? That's more money in the senator's pocket. It's all about money. It's all, it's all it's about, it ain't got nothing to do about the P, the men. All this. It's all about money at the end of the day. Yes. Because the guys are no longer creating families and going passport bros. That's where the money, the money is starting to slow down. It, it, and it's not slowing down because guess what? A lot of guys aren't may not be making the money they used to, so we're we're not gonna fault, fault that part. But the other part you need to understand is the bat. A lot of us are actually making a lot of money. We're because if you haven't been out of if you haven't used your passport, you might need to Google how much a a round trip ticket to Brazil or Thailand costs. You can't be broke and travel internationally. That doesn't work. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> and and it's not fun when you're traveling with ten guys with you because you really ain't got no space. You, it's come on now, it ain't it ain't that fun. But but okay, but you know what? Let's use the ten guys. Let's use ten guys. Okay, go ahead, throw with it. Okay, if you travel with a group of fellas, how many of y'all would be in one hotel room? It's probably two rooms, two, five, five. For I'm probably maybe I'm, three then. Yeah, three. No, two. Man, I'm a grown man. I wouldn't travel with more than two people per room. That's me, cause you got I mean, two I, queen beds in the room. I got you. Yeah, I mean, if I was traveling, if you, I'm, I'm a, tra- I'm a two, two person per room guy. Got you. So, if it was ten guys, you're looking at five rooms. Right? Okay. Let's do the math real okay. right quick. That's once again, it's all about numbers. Okay. Let's say a round trip ticket from from Atlanta to Brazil. I don't know. I could look it up, but let's say a stack. I like round numbers. So let's say a thousand dollars. Okay. Ten guys, round trip tickets, thousand dollars. That's ten thousand dollars that got fed to the U.S. economy in the airlines, right? But how much is that actual trip going to cost? Two two guys, round trip ticket. Hope y'all got a hotel, entertainment. How much you really gonna pay on that trip? Not much if you're splitting it. I mean, just saying. How much are you going? How much would you think you would, it would cost you? As me, as one person, you, and you're going to have a good time. I mean, another another two thousand dollars, maybe three thousand dollars for the trip. Okay, that, that sounds all right. Okay, so about a thousand, two thousand, two okay. fifteen hundred, somewhere there. Yeah. Okay, so so ten ten guys. Cause mind you, because because you got to pay for a car. Because we all put your money in. You know what I mean? But y'all going to have a good time. Y'all going to ball out. Oh the man! Oh yeah, nice yeah. Cheap. You know, and it's cheaper. But the truth of it is, if I spent another thousand, that's ten thousand dollars that I spent in another country. Didn't go into the U.S. economy. I mean, that's a thousand. Okay, I spent. I, I, I'm with you now. I'm ten with you other now, guys. That's ten thousand got spent in a whole different economy. Right. That ten thousand didn't go into the mall. No. It didn't go into restaurants here in, in America. No. It didn't go into my girl's hands. It didn't go into my kids' hands. It went out of the country, and that's the money part of the passport bros. You got hundreds of thousands of, let's say tens of thousands. I ain't going to say hundreds. You got tens of thousands of men who, men of our complexion, because passport bros is primarily African-American. You got, you got tens of thousands of African-American males who are spending thousands of dollars more per year outside of the country than they were. So, the Philippines like us. 
They love Thailand us. Thailand loves us. They love us. Brazil loves us. Yes. The Dominican Republic, they might not like us because of the color of our skin, but we spend in a whole bunch of dollars in their country and that economy is benefiting. But guess what happens if we don't spend money in America? Who who doesn't benefit? The senators, the judges, the politicians, the women and children. That money was gone. It took straight out of their pocket and gave to somebody else's pocket in another country. That's what that conversation was about. Mm. It's always about the money. They don't care. They don't care that we can't see our kids. They don't care that our houses get taken and our 401 401k's okay, uh, 401, 401 get taken. They don't care that our bank accounts get cut in half. They don't care if we are mentally and physically abused by the by the women who we supposed to love, but they do care about where you spend your money. Message. <laughs> so, fellas, if you go to work every day like I do, and in your free time you turn on your Xbox like I do. Or PlayStation. <laughs> like I do. <laughs> but go ahead. I and, got both. Go and, ahead. And and if you do indulge in um extracurricular activities uh with the with those P sites, um are you happy? If that answer to that is yes, don't let somebody shame you into destroying your life to make them feel better. Josh, I don't care what Josh has to say. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense. Fellas, fellas talking to you, my brothers. If you're happy doing what you're currently doing, keep doing it. You you do not, you do not have to appease someone who really don't care about you. Cause it's, because it's already about money. Mm hmm. Now they ain't saying it. They're, they're dancing behind the words. They are saying certain things, but besides us, talk, he didn't. He didn't bring no real substance. He didn't say why men need to have families. Just a sound bite. It was just a quick sound bite. He didn't get on details. He ain't talk about how it was hurting at comedy because that's what's really happening. Mm -hmm. That's what's really going on. Because, ladies and gentlemen, men, ladies and gentlemen, especially my fellas, you need to understand, mm -hmm. men who make money, we don't spend money like that. Most of the time, it's like this. Once the guy buys the one thing he really wants, mm -hmm. he's cool. Mm -hmm. For example, I got a PlayStation, PS5. Mm -hmm. that, that was my biggest purchase. I mean, it's a couple years ago when it first came out, but that's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. Once I got that, I'm good. I'm not buying a PlayStation every year, every month. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. So what I'm saying is that when guys buy the things they want, even if it's a car, fellas, whatever it is you like to do, you buy a car and you love your car, your truck, whatever it may be, you customize your deck it out. Once you finish decking it out and making it how you ever want it, you're done. You're done. You're not trying to buy another car right away and do the same thing. You might buy one maybe five, six years later if that one breaks down, but mm -hmm. it, most guys, we take care of our stuff so it won't break down. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm saying that once we, once we spend the money on something that we really want, we don't keep spending money on it. So with that being said, we just keep saving our money, and the money stack up in the account. Yeah, I, I would. I want to ask you what. What is your? Could you share what your primary indulgence is? Indulgence is what? What? What do you spend the most money on? That's not bills. Uh, I like that for yourself. I don't mean for the family. No, I mean. So every year, so I, I got my PlayStation already, as I stated. I, I got it. I don't, I, don't, I don't keep buying every year. So, but what I do buy every year is the new man. The new man comes out every year. But that's only like 70 bucks, 100 for the whole pass. Exactly. So I get the Madden every year. I get the Call of Duty every year and, and the NBA basketball game every year. So those are three games I buy every year. And you probably looking at, let's say, 250 just for gig okay. shits and giggles, whatever, 250 mm -hmm. Now, I don't, I'm not married anymore, but. What did my wife indulge in back in the day? Do we we used to get like four subscriptions to magazines, physical magazines. I don't even know why we had it. They pile up and then you throw them she, away. She spent from from a dollar for dollar standpoint, she spent more money on magazine subscriptions than I spent on video games. All right. She spent 
she she spent more money on makeup and hair care products than I spent on clothes. Right? See, this isn't it, fellas. Once again, y'all are winning. This isn't. This is to show that they want you to start families because kids are expensive. Yes, they want you to get in relationships because women are expensive, and if you're not taking care of them, somebody else has to. I like how you said that. And as I was saying about what I spent in indulging, right? And that's mm-hmm. me and that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. But now I have kids, right? And both my kids, unfortunately, not unfortunately, I am happy for them. They're gamers like their dad. Mm-hmm. They both got PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. And they got games. And more more likely, they're young kids. Most, my, most parents my age will know Fortnite is their favorite game they play. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. Fortnite's a free game. But, that's, that's, yeah, you, you saw it coming all the way. But they have in-game purchases, mm. meaning that they get new avatars, new clothes and shoes and guns and not real guns, but toy guns and all cool outfits and cool dances. Mm-hmm. And I pay monthly service for both my kids. For every month, they get uh, they get a certain amount of V-Bucks. I think it's a 1,000 V-Bucks every month. They get new outfits every month. It's a capacity I pay for. Mm-hmm. But that's the point I'm trying to make. You spend you spend more on games for your kids than you do for yourself. Bing bong, and that that's the part. That's, that's the part. important. That's that, a, this, right. The whole little clip we listened to it was, fellas, fellas. This is you. The question comes up: What do you want? Right? Because we lost. I want to say this one thousand percent. We lost the gender war. This we the laws are against us. The courts are against us. The media is against us. The society is against us. Facts. Even culturally, we lost the gender war. Facts. But what we never can lose is our manhood. That's facts. You can't take that from me. No. And men work. And when we work, for the most part, we like getting paid for our money. Yeah. And the one thing they can't make you do is spend your money on something you don't want. So you can never lose 100%. As long as you have a job, make a little money, keep it in your pocket and spend it on what you want to spend it on, you actually winning. We just had to step back. Um, The game that they want us to play with this relationships and kids and all this, there was a movie that came out in 1983. It had Matthew Broderick in it. It Is was it 83? Called- 83. I was born in 82, so I was one years old. There you go. So you old enough to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I walked to that one. That's a good one. He got me first. Go ahead. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I like but, that one, Seth. But it was a movie called War Games. Uh-huh. And it was a supercomputer that the young guy had hacked into, and he had decided to play some games. And one of the games he decided to play was called Thermo, Thermo Nucle- Thermonuclear War. Okay. Right? And the computer was going to launch the missiles, actually had hacked into the missile base and was going to launch the missiles. He was about to destroy the world because he was playing a game, right? You know, fast forward the plot because you can watch it yourself. The, at the end of the game, the computer decided to run some simulations about thermonuclear war. And he just started shooting the missiles and everything. And he came to the same conclusion men have come to today. The only way to win is not to play the game at all. That's it. So, fellas, if you want a girl, God bless you and good luck. But you ain't going to never make her happy. You in this country, in this age, at this time, we are not getting what we want. I just don't believe it. Do you believe it? I'm with you. Don't believe it. No, I'm with you. Yeah, you're, you're never going to get what you want. You you can't make a woman happy long enough to keep her. You can't. Your kids, it's an 80% chance your kids are going to be raised without you. You'll just be a walking bank account. And even if you get married, because I was married for 14 years, um, in at my current age, I actually do watch more porn than I used to when I was married. <laughs> Take that how you want to. Right? So, if you want to win this game, the only way to win is not to play the game at all. 
Don't get shamed into being stupid. And and that's it right there. Don't get shamed. Don't get forced into something, right? Don't get, actually, don't get bullied. Because this is all it is. It's being bullied. Mm-hmm. You know, they they want to, they wanna, the whole world looks frowned upon bullying, but clearly it's okay bullying when it's, when they, when it's when a it, guy. When it's a guy. And also when it's, you're right, when it's a guy. Mm-hmm. And they're going to say, oh, man, it's man up. Tighten up. Mm, nah. But anyway, listen, find your happiness. Keep can continue being happy in what you do, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't let no one tell you anything different. Do your own research. Do what's yeah. happy for you. And I'll for. tell you this, when it comes to, when you do decide to be in a relationship, don't sacrifice your happiness. Oh, if yeah. the person doesn't like the one thing you love to do, then that may not, may not be the person for you. Just that simple. If you're a gamer or you're a guy who likes to go to the gym all the time or if you like to go hunting, walking, whatever you like to do, buy guns all the time, if that's the only thing that person gripes about you doing all the time, that may not be somebody that's for you, fellas. So don't don't ever compromise your happiness for to be with somebody because there's someone out there that's going to love what you do and they're going to add on to what you do. Yep. So... Imagine have somebody that loves what you're doing and they're doing it too. Yep. That's a win win right there. But once again, fellas, this this is for you. Don't be mm-hmm. shamed. Don't don't let the senator trick you to think you need to go out there and start f- having families for what? Because he didn't tell you what's the benefit of it. He didn't give you no oh, if you do this, here's a here's a great outcome. Yeah, no. You notice that. The, no. No he was like, America needs you. America's in po- poverty. Bruh, but what's in it for me? If they <laughs> Didn't even come close to answering that question. No, not even in hand, nothing. Mm-hmm. You didn't say nothing. And I'm confused because, like I said earlier, men been building stuff for decades. So when do we start building stuff? I mean, there's houses down the street about three point miles down the road. There's a whole bunch of area that's been dug up, trees chopped down, everything, yeah, right? That is true. I don't see women out there tearing trees down and driving four legs. Now, they're out there. Let's be clear. I know it's not all, it's not absolute. There's some out there, but the majority of the time it's men. Mm-hmm. Stay on your ground. So when you say men ain't doing the, who, who, this house is being built, and I don't see too many women climbing on roofs and nailing stuff down. I, I, I just don't see. I can drive through the little areas. They might be the ones holding the sun I, sign. And I ain't trying to be shade, but I'm calling what it is. Next time you see some construction, just go around drive and see. You see women. You see men. See what the men doing. See what the women doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And when he said guys need to do stuff, tell me who's not doing that. Tell me who's not. Tell me who's doing what. Make it make sense. That's all. Make that make sense. <laughs> and, and you know how I felt about it. See, that's the bad part is I agree with, with the men doing something. But it used to be a point in time where we were incentivized to do it. If you give a man a reason, we'll work to we'll work to the day we die. I mean, come on, dude. My, that's a fact. My grandfather worked. He worked in the at the Ford plant till he till he died. You know what I'm saying? He he even after he hit sixty seven years old, what what he was supposed to do, retire and do what? Sit at home all day? And I'm be honest with you too. To when you think about it too, most men who work, work, work the whole life, right? Mm-hmm. They'll work till the late seventies, late sixties, whatever. They retire legitly, right? And they may have the hardest job they do ever, whatever. It's construction work, labor, XYZ, steel mill, whatever. But then all of a sudden, as soon as they retire, when you think they're supposed to be living it up, feet kicked up. They die because because working is we are workhorses. It's what we do. It's what we do. But and I say this with a but. This is what Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep messing. I hate Josh. Josh. Yeah, this is what Josh totally left out. What do you leave out? You got to give me a reason to work myself to death. We we done with the slave days. Them days is over, and they're not coming back. And. If you want me to work and take care of and put the put some people on my back, you got to at least make me feel like they appreciate the work I'm doing. Not divorcing me at a 70, 80, 90% rate, not taking my kids in house, not denying me visitation with my kids, not locking me up with false allegations because I want you to understand something. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I'm sorry, y'all, Josh. <laughs> But for me as a man, y'all might not understand this, but but the, I mean, women might not understand this, but men will understand. I get just as much pleasure from getting that next level of any game I'm playing as I do trying to build a house. 
when I when I level up my character, he become more and more powerful. I get a lot of pleasure from that, and that was work I did that I enjoyed. It had nothing to do with breaking my back trying to buy my girl a pair of shoes. So, Josh, you, <laughs> you might need to reevaluate how you come at people with shaming language, because we and I enjoy what I do with my free time in my in private, and that include the P sites. I, I, no, no, just. <laughs> Touche? Touche? Yeah. We can wrap it up. I just want to say it one more time. Josh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning to the Shop Team. 2023, new chapter, new wave, health and wealth for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, thanks for tuning in. Next week, I'll have everything all together. Forgive me. But we're on Twitter now, too. So Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, the Shop Team. Subscribe, like, whatever. Um, it's, it's, nothing has changed. You want to ask some questions? Send an email to jotteen at gmail dot com. Reach out. Let us know. You know your thoughts. Even if you dislike, let us know. Tell us. We 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 want to know. Give us some feedback. Talk to us. We talk back. Exactly. And give us. Hey, give us any topics. We, you need. You you want chopped up. You want our opinion. Give us the cho- topics. But and I want to say this. Oh, the butts. No, no, no butts. I'm we, joking. I mean, no negative butts. This is a. <laughs> This is a kindler, gentler, whatever, ever, ever, dark child. It's for the fellas. Um, no re- talking to people who ain't gonna listen is a waste of breath. So, twenty twenty three, yeah, we back, we back for the homies. Back to the barbershop. shop. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, y'all have a good day. Peace. Peace.